I'm Celeste and welcome to Find Your Purple. Well, it's been over a year since I've been on YouTube and um, my stuff, I ended up doing a move. I had planned it to be a short-term thing. I was going to live with my daughter for five weeks, turned out to be 11 months. Uh, so I had things boxed up and put away and, and not very well organized because I had not planned on it being that long. But anyway, I decided I would do a video on a water fast that I went on recently. Now, I have been going to one chapel, the church I go to. Um, it's Austin-based, and I go to the Kyle campus. And they do a fast in January and in September. And they don't dictate what kind of fast. The idea is to just take away something that gives you more time for God. So um, the first two years, since I hadn't gone to church for 40 years to belong to anything, I was kind of anti-church, I didn't participate in the fast at all. Then the last two years I participated, but um, it was giving up chocolate and alcohol and caffeine and that kind of thing. I never thought about a water fast. And then this July, when I was getting ready to move into my new place, the pastor announced it was time for the fall um, fast. And for whatever reason, this time I wanted to do a water fast. But I wasn't sure I could do a water fast because you get on the line and you Google and there's a lot of, if you're 70, you shouldn't do them. And uh, if you're small, you shouldn't do them. And there, if you're, there are just all sorts of why you shouldn't do the water fast. And I'm 66, so I'm not 70, but getting close. And I just, and I, you know, was fairly small. When I weighed myself, I was not as small as I thought I was. But I, and I didn't want to commit to a water fast if I didn't know if I could do it. So, because I, you know, once you commit, it, it means something. So I thought I'd commit to seven days water fast, and I'd see how I feel, and then go to 10 days. But the real key for me, uh, it was easier than I thought it would be. And um, I got several books, but two of them, here's Fasting from Jenison Franklin. If you can get that there. And here's God's Chosen Fast, written in the 60s. It was referred to by several pastors that I was listening. I went to Google and listen to a lot of things about fasting. I listen to them from a prayer fast standpoint, which is what I was going to do, where you take the food away, but instead of eating, you spend that time praying and focusing on God. Um, but then I read also about some that did it for health reasons, so I could kind of hit it from all angles. So I spent about two, the two or three weeks before reading up on it, trying to decide what I was going to do. So, um, and the God's Chosen Fast, again, was, I guess, was mentioned by several of the pastors, uh, and it's a old school kind of thing. And I, you know, so I got it. It was $2 or something. But I did start with the seven-day concept uh, and decide, you know, how I was feeling. Again, it was much easier than I expected. I will likely never do a 21 day fast again, water fast, partly because that last week, I, I really think, and, and probably all in general, I focus too much on the fast aspect of it. Can I not eat for 21 days and drink water only for 21 days? And what was I going to eat at the end of it? Because it's really important about refeeding. So if you don't eat for 21 days, your system kind of shuts down, even though I always felt mine was going gurgling, but I didn't, I didn't focus as much on God, I think. I mean, I focused on God, I, but I think I was kind of obsessive about the not eating for 21 days things. So in January, when the church goes into fasting again, I probably will do a seven day water fast and then keep to the rest of the, you know, getting up earlier and praying and cutting out chocolates or sweets and wines, that kind of stuff. But it was also easier for me because I did start ahead of time based on some of the books and I cut out caffeine, I cut out my alcohol, which is my red wine. 
I cut out the sweets. I'm already a plant-based eater. So I kind of prepared my body for it, which I think made it a lot easier. But I didn't have any days. I watched quite a few Google things, and there'd be people laying in bed doing a video saying, today's day eight or day nine, and I can't get up, I don't have energy. I didn't have this boom of energy that people talked about, but I was moving during that time. Day one of the fast for the church started on Sunday. My closing date was Tuesday, and so I started moving into my new house on Tuesday. So that three weeks was spent a lot with unpacking boxes and moving stuff. And again, that probably took away some of the, or some of the attention to God. Also, it was kind of tiring, so towards the second, towards the third week, I would sit down, sometimes unbox a few boxes or move something, and then I'd sit for five minutes. So, I mean, I didn't have the energy. I didn't work out during that three weeks. Uh, I didn't work out the week after either. Um, and, but it was only water, and I uh, did okay. The biggest shock that I was not prepared for, because people didn't mention it in the videos I watched, even though my daughter Googled it while I was on the fast and said other people mentioned it, was my eyesight. Up to the time of the fast, I had, you know, Dollar General reading glasses that I sometimes used in the morning. Sometimes I didn't have to, sometimes I had to. It varied. Not quite sure why, but it did. In the fast, by the end of the first week, I had to go out and buy a stronger pair of reading glasses. Again, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, whatever store. And because I could not read at all ever during the day without the help of reading glasses. So I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, it said in the articles, I guess, that it usually comes back. And now I'm, I think, two weeks after the fast, and I'm, I think I'm more comfortable with them sometimes, so I don't know if I've just gotten in the habit of them, which is not good, but it's definitely, my eyesight's definitely improving. The other thing I focused on, um, was the refeeding because again if you stop eating for three weeks and you go to eat you have to be very careful not to jump into things too heavily because again I'm a plant-based eater that wasn't as hard for me as it might be for some people but for the first week we can have I stayed pretty heavy on veggie soups and um, but they really tasted good so it, I wasn't feeling I was giving up anything. I was just happy to eat. But I lost just at 20 pounds. When I weighed, I weighed, started at 120. I ended at just over 100. I thought I was 114, so I was six pounds over where I thought I was. And I knew I, I didn't mind losing 10. 110 is kind of a weight I'd like to be at, but not there usually anymore. But um, I did get down. I didn't want to go under 100, but you know I didn't know what would happen with water. So um, if you're thinking of doing the fast, again, I think a spiritual fast is great. I think it makes you realize how much time you focused on food or on TV or social media or all the different things people might give up. Uh, but it. You, you need to prepare for it if you're going to do the water fast, and um, but it's not as scary or as hard as you might think it is. Again, I just never thought I could go 21 days without eating. I thought I'd lose too much weight. I thought I would, I don't know what I thought, but everyone just seemed to say it was such a hard thing to do. They have no intention to go beyond the 21 days, so some people go on to 40 days. That wasn't going to happen. But, and I, again, I probably won't do it again. I think I got out of it what I wanted to get out of it uh, in the sense of knowing I did it, but I think I'll start with a seven day is probably plenty in terms of the water fast, and then just going through the exercise of knowing how much time I waste or how much time I could put to God, even by getting up a couple hours earlier, I will go with that, because I also, did away with TV. I would watch, if something was a film or documentary on a faith-based 
but for that 21 days, I gave up even my Hallmark movies. So um, I just gave up kind of secular TV and secular movies and um, just tried to, again, keep more focus on God and remind myself through the day just to thank Him. So it's, it's more about just getting in better habits. So I just thought I would share that with you. Um, again, if you're going to do it, prepare ahead of time. Give yourself a couple weeks to ease into it. Give you a couple weeks to ease out of it, and you'll do fine. Uh, and I think the spiritual aspect of it was probably the reason I was able to do it so easily because even though I didn't focus all day like I felt I should have or, or maybe give God as much time, I still gave him more time than I normally did. And I was very conscious of the fact that the reason I was doing the fast was because it was to focus on God more. So that was it. I don't think there's anything else, um, but I will see you again on Find Your Purple, give you an update on what's gone on in my life since I started the channel. And again, I will try to get in the habit of doing more. Even though my life is totally different than it was when I started in 2016, and um, in a positive way. So but that's it for now. As always, grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing. Until next time, bye-bye.